Having appointed a panel of some of the world's top legal minds, supporters of deposed President Mohamed Morsi listened intently as the allegations against Egypt's military-backed government were read out. Murder, unlawful imprisonment, torture, persecution against an identifiable group, enforced disappearance of persons, the team was appointed by members of the Shura Council and the Freedom and Justice Party, the political arm of the Muslim Brotherhood. After investigating the violence in the months since Morsi was deposed, they say he was thrown out of office illegally, but insist their research was impartial. If we were to receive um, evidence of crimes committed or uh, alleged against members of the client group, we would not destroy that evidence. That evidence would be, would be kept. The group says it was denied access to detained Muslim Brotherhood members and relied on witness accounts, photographs and video. The fact of the commission of the offences is not an issue. The big issue is who is responsible for uh, those offences on the street. And they have an answer for that too, compiling a list of people who they say either carried out the violence or were responsible. The group of lawyers collecting evidence here in London say they've approached an international network of human rights legal experts. They want that network to build cases against this list of so-called suspects in their home countries. But the group of lawyers here in London do not want to make that list public. The lawyers say they have enough evidence to take the case either to the International Criminal Court or to lay charges through countries that recognise international jurisdiction. But the allegations brought by this legal team are being criticised. One academic Al Jazeera spoke to says the group will have little chance of success in court because the accusations, he says, are clearly politically motivated. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera, London.